So I want to tell you guys a quick story. A few years back, I'm out at the bar. I didn't feel good. The only reason I had gone out to the bar was because I had made a commitment to my wings that I was going to go out with them that night. So now I had accountability. I had to go out. So I get out there and I'm just not in the zone. I'm talking to a couple chicks here and there. I'm opening. I'm just letting it go. I'm mostly winging with with my dude. He's doing sets and I'm kind of just there with him. But all that time, the momentum is going and going. I start to kind of get in the flow. Now, I'm going to be vulnerable with you guys for a second. I said at the beginning of this program, I grew up as a very fat kid. From the time I was five years old, I remember just noticing, oh, I'm, I'm a fat kid. All these other kids are skinny. And that continued, continued, continued. And really until I was 22 and a half. That's when I first, for the first time ever, successfully lost weight. And on top of being a fat kid, that always just led me to believe that, well, none of these girls that I really have crushes on are gonna like me. Sometimes I would actually tell them I did like them and that they didn't like me. And so really just a lifetime of viewing myself so negatively has made it where I have to fight those thoughts. I have to remember that I'm now in great shape. I have to remember now that I've, I've worked on myself and that I am actually worthy of attractive women. And so I'm out at the bar and I see this chick and she's actually dancing on a table. And she has one of those, what I call mutant bodies. There's these genetic mutants where she's a white girl. She has almost zero body fat, almost none. She has visible tight core ripples and she has an amazing ass and thick thighs. Now, again, the, the anomaly that that is, that is really kind of the most attractive woman on the planet. In my opinion, is women that, that have that beautiful brunette, clearly much younger than me. And I see her and I think to myself, that is my fucking holy shit. That is my perfect girl. Those are the, that's the split second thought. And then right after that, the self-defeating thoughts come up. Dude, that one's like way too hot. She's with all these other girls. She's like, I'm dancing on this fucking table. Just leave it. Go, go find a lesser attractive woman. Go find a lesser attractive chick. But I remember, I remember deep in my soul, I remember, bro, you're Aaron Alexander. You're motherfucking Aaron Alexander. And you go after the shit that you fucking want in this life. And you follow this fucking tenet, which is assume attraction. And so I walk right up to that table and I assume attraction. I assume that she is going to be into me. And I go up to her as if I know her. And I go up and I just reach up and I grab her hand. I put my hand right next to hers and she, she grabs onto my head, looks at me all confused and smiling. And I, and I kind of go one, do one of these uh, for the audio listeners. I'm, uh, I kind of just pull her down. I pull her down off of the table and she comes down and she's like, she's like, hey, what's up? She thinks that she knows me for a second. And I go, what's up? You know, I run my full interaction with her. Again, this is a few years back. I don't remember word for word, but one of the things I do remember is that her phone number ended in 1337. And she told me her phone number and I asked her if she was trolling. Now, if you're an old school gamer guy, you'll know why I thought 1337 was trolling. And I was like, that's seriously, I'm like, you're not, you're not fucking with me. That's actually your number. She's like, no, I'm serious. Why? And I'm like, you don't know what 1337 means. So she gives me her number and uh, great interaction, get her number, keep talking, just having a good time with her. Night's over. I, I don't even remember what happened that night. Maybe I went home with a different chick. Maybe I just kept gaming, got blown out. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter because I met her. So we get to texting 
Uh, not that night. I think that night we did text a little bit, but we're texting the next night. And again, I'm thinking to myself, this girl is fucking perfect. This is insanity. This is honestly probably what, I mean, this is a top three of the hottest women I've ever been with. So we're texting and we're, we're going back and forth a little bit about, it starts to get into like, what, what part of town are you in? Whatever. She's like, I'm here. I'm here. I would tell her I'm here. I would tell her there, back and forth. And we're getting closer and closer. And I go, this is going to sound really creepy, but are you here? It turns out she lives a block and a half away from me. She's like, Hold, she's like, wow, this is crazy. Oh my God. And I'm like, I'm like, listen, I walk down that street almost every single day. I swear to God, if this ends up going anywhere, I'm not stalking you. She's laughing about that. We're talking. It's the dead of winter. So we end up agreeing that we're going to hang out. And so I get her to, to first commit to hanging out with me. And then I basically end up saying something where I go, it's just so freezing out. Would you be cool with just coming over to my place? We don't have to hook up or anything like that. I just, it would just be super cool, whatever. She's like, yeah, I can definitely do that. And I go, also, I know you're so close, but because this is this is Ohio, by the way, guys. It, I mean, this is a full this is horrific winters at times. So I go. Also, I know you're so close, but uh, I can still pick you up if, if you'd like that. She's like, oh, my God, I would literally love that. I was just thinking about how it's going to be hell climbing up the hill to get over to you. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. So I go pick her up and there ends up really being a lot of history here. But to sum it all up, I end up for around a year and a half hooking up with, falling in love, doing sick, degenerate sex shit, having the most passionate, insane, we're both Geminis also. And I, before, I, I was never really into astrology, but we're both Geminis. And apparently two Geminis together is just chaos. So we end up falling in love for a fucking year and a half. Now, one other detail I want to put in here is I was around 28, 29, and she was, I met her shortly before her 21st birthday. I took her out for her 21st birthday. So this girl's much younger than me, insanely hot. And I'm talking ridiculously hot. I remember one time being out at a, a coffee shop with her. And, and a couple girls just came up to her and they were like, excuse me. And she's like, she's like, hey, the girl goes, I, we just were talking about you. I just wanted to tell you, you're like so pretty. She's like, she's like, oh my God, thank you. She's like, yeah, we just had to tell you. It was literally like two fans going up to a celebrity or something. Like, we love your music. It was crazy. This girl was stupid hot. And I look at all of the sex that we had. I look at all of the beautiful times, the beautiful dates we went on, going, spending time over at her parents' house even. I mean, just... It was such a beautiful love affair. And I think about if I would not have assumed attraction and went for it in that moment, how nothing would have happened. Nothing would have happened if I didn't assume attraction, even though deep down, I didn't feel as though she would ever be attracted to me. And I could tell several stories like this of women that I've approached that I'd never thought would be attracted to me. And then we end up, you, I use my game, I use my charisma, I use my conversation, I use comfort, I use all of these tools. And these are women that universally, the world, if you just threw up, rate him, rate her online. A lot of the women that I've been with would universally, everybody would rate her higher than me. There's a lot of women like that in my life and it's because I fucking go for it. So the next time that you see an attractive girl or any girl at all, if you're not doing approaches at all, if you feel so down about yourself, you must assume attraction. Now, ideally you base this in some reality. Are you a 300 pound slob like I used to be? Lose some weight. Do you dress like complete shit wearing terrible clothes? Go to TJ Maxx, drop a little cash on just some decent clothes, nothing crazy, just shit that fits good. Root this in some version of reality, but ultimately does not matter. Assume attraction. If you are already not fucking that girl, then you literally have nothing to lose. All you have to gain. Every approach and cold approach, even if it's a rejection, is a win. As I said in a previous tenant here, assuming, or I'm sorry, as I said in a previous tenant here, 
inaction is the only failure. So even when you guys end up in situations in your life where maybe it's a social setting, maybe it's a cashier at Target, maybe it's a work event, a conference, and you are in a conversation with a woman and you would, you're attracted to her, start assuming that she's attracted to you and always assume attraction. And now you don't have to just straight up say to women all the time in your life, hey, you're at the Target, at the work conference, hey, you're really, you're really hot by the way, I, just, I would love to take you on a date. You don't have to do that. But if you end up in casual conversation with a woman and you think, okay, there might be something here, always remember that Aaron Alexander told you to assume attraction. Aaron Alexander, assume attraction, the four A's. And just, hey, this might be totally random. Would you maybe wanna um, go grab drinks later this week? Yeah, yeah, sure, I would love that. Hey, this might be totally random. Uh, what do you got What do you got going on after the conference this evening? Oh, I was just, not much. I mean, I was probably just gonna go back to my room and hang out. Maybe we should, uh, we should grab some wine later or something. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Assume attraction, guys. You end up in an interaction with a woman you're, that you called approach, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm not sure if she's into this, I don't really know. You're already talking to her, assume attraction and go for that phone number. This is gonna be maybe one of the longer tenets here in this program, but it's because I'm so insanely fucking passionate about this. I cannot express to you how passionate I am about assuming attraction and how important I know that it is for you as you move forward in this life. Start being that dude, that dude that looks at the hot chick and instead of thinking she's out of my league, I could never have that. Say to yourself, I'm that dude that at least fucking goes for it. All right, if you grew up in a poor fucking family, Guess what? Pure statistics alone, you are basically destined to never be rich. As much as we love the come up stories, they are very few and very far between. Okay, so just because you were statistically, you're probably gonna be fucking poor, does that mean you don't go for becoming a millionaire? You go for this shit. You gotta be delusionally optimistic sometimes. You have to tell yourself, you know what? I might not be the guy that can get her right now, but I'm gonna be that fucking guy that goes for it. And maybe I can get her. Assume attraction.